Where do we go when hope runs out? When we're empty? When there's nothing left? myself, but I couldn't do it. God had a plan for my life, to give hope to other people through my story.
Život je onakav kakvim ga vi načinite. You can either have a boring day. Možete ili da imate jedan dosadan dan. And do nothing different. I da ništa drugačije ne učinite. Or you have a boring day. Ili ćete imati dosadan dan. And you do something different. Ali ćete promijeniti nešto. We all have ups and downs. Svi mi imamo svoje uspone i padove. We all have things we wished that we had. Svi mi imamo neke stvari za koje bismo voljeli kada bi ih imali. Or wish that we didn't have. Ili možda bi voljeli da ih nemamo. And we all need hope. I svima nam je potrebna nada. We want to believe in hope. Mi želimo da verujemo u nadu. But sometimes you can't. Ali ponekad ne možete. Why? Zašto? Because in our mind and in our hearts. Zato što u našim umovima i u našim srcima. There is a wall. Postoji jedan zid. Good and bad. Postoji dobro i loše. Truth and lies. Istina i laži. And I hope tonight i ja se nadam večeras up, da ako je bilo ko od vas pomislio da ikada odustane to never give up on God. da ipak nikada neće dići ruke od Boga. Don't give up on your family. Nemojte dići ruke od svoje porodice. Don't give up on Serbia. Nemojte dići ruke od Srbije. And it's time. I vreme. Ja nisam imao nikakve pozitivne stvari u svom životu. Uvek sam dobio pozitivno ohrabrenje od roditelja i nisam bio depresivan čitavo svoje detinjstvo, ali bilo je teško pogledati se u ogledalo i reći ti si ok, nema veze šta drugi ljudi misle o tebi. Kada sam bio učinjen, kada sam bio mali, moji roditelji su me uvek učili. Neće znati šta možeš da postigneš sve dok ne probaš. Ovo malo stopalo je nevjerovatno. Mogu da kucam čak 43 reči u minuti na običnom kompjuteru. Ja, to je sve dobro. This thing, I, I've realized that it's taught me a lesson. I shvatio sam da me ovo malo stopalo naučilo jednoj lekciji. A reality of a principle that my parents always shared. Jednoj realnosti principa koji su moji roditelji uvek govorili meni. To be thankful for what you have. Da budem zahvalan za ono što imam. How can I be thankful? Kako ja mogu da budem zahvalan? When my parents gave when my mom gave birth to me, kada me je moja majka rodila, it was hard to be thankful. Bilo je teško biti zahvalan. They looked at me and said, "Why?" Oni su me pogledali i pitali se zašto. It took my parents some time to come to terms with that. I bilo je potrebno određeno vreme mojim roditeljima da da shvate to. But this is my Bible. Ali ovo je moja Biblija. And my mom and dad know what's most mostly written in the Bible. I moja mama i tata znaju šta je uglavnom napisano u ovoj Bibliji. I heard my dad as a as a kid I would hear him preach from the Bible. Još dok sam bio dete, slušao sam mog tatu kako je propovedao iz Biblije. But lies were taking me away. Ali laži su bile te koje su me odvajale od te istine. Because even though my parents did their best with me and and they're doing their best, I still was depressed sometimes. Jer iako su moji roditelji davali sve od sebe da mi pruže sve što mi je potrebno, ja sam i dalje bio depresivan ponekad. The lies were taking me away from all that I can be. Zato što su me te laži odvlačile od svega onoga što sam mogao da budem. Saying, oh, you look ugly. Ljudi su govorili, ti si baš ružan. Oh, you're nobody. Ti si niko i ništa. You know, it's interesting, we all have those people in our life who discourage us sometimes. Interesantno je da svi mi imamo te ljude koji nas ponekad obeshrabruju. You know who I'm talking about? Znate o kome govorim? No matter how good of a day you have, Bez obzira kako vam dobar dan bio, no matter how bad of a day you have, ili koliko loš vaš dan bio, they take you down. Oni će vas još više srozati. And in our mind, i u našem umu, we actually have the ability to overcome the discouragement. Mi zapravo imamo tu sposobnost da prevaziđemo to obeshrabrenje. With the help of knowing the truth. Uz pomoć naravno spoznanja istine. It only took three seconds for someone to discourage me. Bilo je potrebno samo tri sekunde da me neko obeshrabri. But then my mind takes over. Ali onda moj um preuzima svoje. And I can't sleep at night. I ne mogu da spavam noću. And I'm hearing all these things. I slušam sve te stvari. 
Nick, just give up. Nick, odustan. Look at these people at your school. No one's really your friend. Pogledaj sve te ljude u tvojoj školi, niko ti u stvari od njih nije prijatelj. Everybody has girlfriends and boyfriends. You're not going to ever get married. Svi imaju momke ili devojke, a ti nećeš nikada se oženiš. Even if you got married, you can't even hold your wife's hand. Pa čak i kada bi se oženio, nećeš nikada moći da uhvatiš svoju ženu za ruku. Even if you had kids, you can't even pick up your kids when they're crying. Pa čak i ako budeš imao dece i kada nećeš moći da ih podigneš u naruče kada plaču. You're not going to have a job so you won't be provider. Nećeš imati ni posao tako da nećeš moći da se brineš za svoju porodicu. And you will just be a burden to your parents. I jednostavno ćeš biti teret svojim roditeljima. Just give up. Samo odustani. Just give up. Odustani. Just give up. Odustani. Ako ja padnem, ja ću da polomim ruka. Did I say it right? When I was age eight, I told my mom that I was thinking of committing suicide. Kada mi je bilo osam godina, rekao sam svojoj majici da razmišljam o tome da izvršim samoubistvo. Remember, we have a choice. Sećate se, mi imamo izbor. To either believe or not believe. Ili ćemo verovati ili nećemo verovati. But it's what you focus on that makes the difference. Ali promenu će doneti ono na što usredsredite svoje misli. The lies and negativity will bring you here. Laži i negativnost dovest će vas tu, na rubu. And when you know the truth, you can turn your back on the lies and take one step at a time. A kada znate istinu, onda možete okrenuti leđa lažima i okrenuti se ka istini korak po korak. So many teenagers are believing the lies. Toliko tinejdžera veruje lažima. They look at themselves in the mirror. Pogledaju se u ogledalo. And they just wish that they were more prettier or more taller or more popular. I jednostavno žele da su samo lepši ili više ili popularniji. More smarter, more stronger, more athletic. Pametniji ili snažniji ili bolje građeni. And we're not happy with ourselves. I nismo zadovoljni sami. Thank God for my foot. Hvala Bogu za ovo stopalo. Serious, thank God for this thing. Hvala Bogu stvarno za ovo stopalo. We need to be thankful for today. Moramo biti zahvalni za ovo danas. Count your blessings. I računajte svoje blagoslovi. Thank God that you are alive. Zahvaljujte Bogu što ste živi. Thank God that this is not it that heaven is coming. I zahvaljujte Bogu što ovo nije sve ovde na zemlji. Raj tek predstoji. But there will be no 1 billion people hungry. Gde neće biti milijardu ljudi koji će biti gladni. And 120 million slaves in the world. I 120 miliona robova u svetu. And corruption. Niti korupcije. And death. Niti smrti. And evil. Niti zla. That's my hope. I to je moja nada. I saw the story about how Jesus came across a man who was born blind. Pročitao sam priču u Bibliji gde je Isus sreo jednog čoveka koji je rođen slep. And I asked my parents, why was I born this way? I ja sam pitao svoje roditelje, zašto sam ja ovako rođen? Ne znamo. What about my doctors, do they know? A moji doktori, da li oni znaju? No. Ne. Do you know, I could have sued my doctors because they didn't pick it up in the ultrasound that I had no arms, no legs. Mogao sam i da tužim svoje doktore zato što oni na ultrazvuku uopšte nisu videli da ja nemam ni ruke, ni noge. I chose not to do it. Ali ja sam donao odluku da ne učinim to. I reći ću vam zašto. Because Jesus said this man was born blind so that the works of God would be revealed through him. Jer u Bibliji Isus je rekao za tog slepog čoveka on je rođen tako da bi se kroz njegov život videla Božja dela. Now people ask me 